the counter swivel in chipping. What is it and how will it help you increase your downward angle of attack so you can hit crisper and better chip shots with more spin control? In today's video, I'm going to tell you all about it. So counter swivel in the chipping stroke is just a uh, word or something that we use here in the golf schools and with all the lessons that give you, the student, a better visual picture or imagery in your own head on what can and maybe should take place in your chipping stroke in order for you to get the downward angle of attack. And when I refer to downward angle of attack, in the coaching world right now, there's some discrepancy on how much that should be. Some coaches vary from anywhere from four to six or seven degrees. Other coaches want you up 10, 12 degrees, or even a little bit more on your angle of attack, meaning how many degrees down that the club is hitting onto the ball. Regardless of the argument of how much it should be down, there is uh, agreement across the board that there should be some downward angle of attack. And many of you out there who either struggle with hitting your chips thin or hitting your chips chunky, often, more often than not, the problem is too shallow of an angle of attack and or the bottom point has become behind the ball and not to the target side of the ball. So when we talk about counter swiveling, what I'm talking about is as the club head goes back, the head moves almost forward to where you have more weight and pressure on your lead foot. Yes, there is some more pressure on the lead foot to begin the swing, which is going to tilt your axis, meaning tilt your spine towards the target. And when that happens, and in any swing, as you make your rotation and your lead shoulder starts to come down as your shoulders turn, there is a little bit of leaning towards the target. It happens in your full swing where you're going this way. Um, it happens in your chipping stroke, just about any stroke outside of the putting stroke, but because the stance is so wide, you often, it's not as recognizable. So. In your chipping stroke, again, the counter swivel would be as you turn your shoulders and swing your arms on the back swing and have a little bit of a pressure shift to the trail leg, the head is actually going to move forward. And the reason I have this orange stick here is so that you can see it. So at the roughly the back of the ball is at the center of my stance based off of my heels as it is here. And I make my back swing. You can see my head is over the ball, maybe a touch to the target side. And as I take it back, my head is going to shift a little bit further forward of that. Now, why is that so important? Because as I shift my head towards the target side of the ball and my clavicle is left of the ball, when I start to come down, that is going to be where the club head really starts to touch the ground. That would be, it's not where the club bottoms out, but it's gonna be where it starts to touch the ground. And if it is in to the target side or in front of the ball, that means by the, when the club's coming down, it's going to catch the ball first. So your angle of attack is, again, anywhere from that roughly four to five to six, all the way up to 10 to 12 uh, degree angle of attack. And it will allow you to catch the ball first. More ball club face interaction will mean more friction, which will mean better spin control, and it'll allow you to hit your shots a hell of a lot more crisply without hitting them thin and or heavy. So again, shoulder turn and slight pivot, head goes forward, as does the pressure onto the lead leg. And then when you come back through, it stays there and then as you push up, as the club comes into the ball, you start to push up on your lead leg and the head actually pops up. It does not go backwards. It's going to go to the front leg and then that's going to pop up, becoming an impact. Should look something like this. A nice crisp spinner. So give that a shot. Let us know how your chipping works out after you try this. We'd love to hear it. Post down in the comments below. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. If you found this useful and used it in your game, don't forget to click that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our podcast, one of the hottest podcasts in golf, Golf 360. If you'd like to watch another one of our videos or subscribe to our channel, you can do so right over here.